Peanut butter with great peanut smell, great peanut taste, great peanut quality. And now let's all play What's My Line? And now, live from New York, let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, Columbia University's gift to television, the beautiful and talented Miss Sue Oakland. Television owes a large debt to the imagination and creative energy of the man on my left, the great Mark Goodson. Thank you. Uh, for those of you who have no color television sets, Miss Cott is wearing a beautiful green dress. Miss Oakland. <laughs> Miss Oakland. <laughs> Believe it or not, we only have eight more shows to go on What's My Line. Uh, after nearly 18 years, it seems incredible, but all good things come to an end. So I have kind of a sentimental reason for being here because it's my last chance to introduce uh, on the air a co-worker of nearly 18 years, a great friend, Arlene Francis. And now, our Random House publisher, whose column, whose amusing column, Try and Stop Me, is read in 600 newspapers around the world, and we have them for our very own for eight more weeks anyway. Mr. Bennett, sir. Well, if you notice it, John Daly's always mellifluent voice is even more resonant than ever tonight. It's because he's boning up for that prestigious job as head of Voice of America, which will be starting right after Labor Day. So he is silver-tongued John Charles Daly. Thank you. Miss Sue, it's nice to have you back with us. And Thanks. boss, nice yeah. to see you there. Nice to see you, John. And there was a nice little speech you made about Arlene. And Arlene and Bennett and I have been together now the better part of, what, 17 and a half years with Mark. And we're all getting nostalgic as the days and the weeks yeah. go by. But that does not stop us from getting occupations which will give the four of you the nip-ups in the next half hour. We'll also have a mystery guest before our friends, a famous mystery guest, before our friends a little bit later in the program. But right now, let's meet our first contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? John and Frank McGuire. Right there? Good. Well, Mrs. McGuire, may I ask where you're from? Originally from Glasgow, Scotland. Uh, now residing in Victoria, Canada. Victoria, Canada, and originally, originally from Glasgow. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, it's nice to have you with us. May I present you both to the panel? The Mrs. Okay. McGuire, and now if you'll come over here, gentlemen. We'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. All right. 
panel, we can tell you that the Messrs. McGuire are self-employed and deal in a product, and we'll begin things with uh, Arlene Francis. Thank you, John. Is it a useful product? Yes. Uh, do you suppose any on the panel might own such a product? No. No, I wouldn't think so. One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, Mrs. McGuire, your backs were turned to us, so I didn't hear where you came from. Did, did, did you say Glasgow? Originally from Glasgow, presently in Victoria in, in uh, British Columbia in Canada. In British Columbia. Uh, is the product in which you are dealing, is it or has it ever been alive? Yes, yes. Is it alive while you're dealing with it? Yes. yes. Is it uh, an animal? Yes. Is it a four-legged animal? No. no. <laughs> Two down and eight to go, Sue. Um, have we ruled out the possibility of it being a human animal? Has not been ruled out. Uh, how can I phrase this so that I can get the maximum out of it? Is it a human animal? You got the maximum. <laughs> I got the minimum. Got the maximum. <laughs> okay. That's three down and seven to go, Mark. It's an animal, but it's uh, not four like it. Is it, um, uh, is it an animal which is found uh, on land as opposed to water? No. That takes no. care of that thing. Four down and six to go, Arlie. It is therefore a sea animal, hmm? Yes. Very large? Yes, sometimes. sometimes. Grown, does it? Yes. <laughs> Um, are its parts ever edible? Yes. yes. Is it, um, in the mammal family rather than the fish family? No. Nope. Five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. In British Columbia, they have some wonderful salmon up there. Might it be the salmon family that you're dealing with? No. No. Nope. Six down and four to go, Sue Oakland. No, um... When we say animal, that's a very large category. That means living. Is that right, John? Right. Because a fish is considered animal on this program? Well, an animal, vegetable, yes. mineral, yes, it would be, right. yes. It's a fish of some kind, is it? Well, we'd say in a very general way it belongs to that uh, species, yes. I mean, as opposed to a crustacean or some other... No, just in the very general sense. If, you're, if you want to get specifically to crustaceans and other elements and specific elements of Mollus the fish family, like why, that. we'd be glad to have you ask the question. But you're now... <laughs> you're now incorporating into the fish category well, animals, all of these things. The whole mess. I, I mean, <coughs> all these things. Now, does this have uh, anything on it that's hard? Yes. Does it have what might be termed a shell of some kind? Yes. It could be in a very general way again, yes. Yes. But then I, I gather from your tone that it's not a crustacean or lobster or a clam, something that is obviously a shell kind of fish. Yeah, I would say it's not as obvious in this case yes. as it is I, in I, other I, cases where now, one can't uh, tell out as often as one would like to. Does this have scales, then? Is that what would you would be considering the hard part? No. No. No, no, no scales. Actually, hasn't got a weight problem. That's seven down and three to go, Mr. Good. <laughs> uh, this uh, fish, or whatever it is, is it, uh, are they come pretty sizable? Do they ever weigh up to 100 pounds? Yes. Yes. They do? You both, both of you fellows work on, on, uh, in the same place? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Do you, do you train or catch this particular kind of fish? Yes. yes. Is it something like a turtle? No. No. That's eight down and two to go. Arlene. I was sure that's what it was. Yeah, I was right oh, on the back of that turtle. Yeah. Now remember, we've determined that the shell area yeah, has yeah, not yeah. to do with anything that is, is uh, usual or crustaceous. Uh, however, it, you also say it has no scales. I mean, some fish. Right. It's got no scales, it's got no shell. Now you're getting closer every minute, Arlene. Is it ever very small? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is, uh, would it be considered a soft shell in any way? Well, to the degree that a shell is there, we'd have to agree that it has a softness to it. I mean, like a soft shell it. crab. Well, it, it wouldn't, I wouldn't say it would be exactly like a soft shell crab. We're assuming that what structure there is there may have been at one time hard shell, now has to be generally described as being in the shell area, and we would be very happy, as I think you would be, if, if we got over this got away thing. from the yeah. shell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does it 
ever get into the sand? No. Rather, than, no. rather than stay in the sea. No. Doesn't like sand, as a matter well, of fact. Both come from Scotland. We can eliminate the Loch Ness Minst Monster, I take it. <laughs> minster, too. You can get rid uh, of the Minster. Does this object that you deal with ever croak? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people see croak when they see one, though. Right, I'm scared to death is of it, them. Is it a snake? No, oh, I think an probably... Eel. An eel? No, no an eel has a shell. It's no. the area that we're talking about that threw you off. Actually, I didn't know it, but Not there a snail. are octopuses <gasps> up there. Big I was octopuses. thinking of octopus, but the, where is the shell on the octopus? Well, it's an They're old... They're all so soft. Enemy. It's in the beak. It's an old, probably had a big shell at one time, which is why I tried to get you away from shells oh. as much as I could. Oh, it's that old shell hard. game again. It's the old <laughs> shell game. But actually, John and Frank go out in scuba gear and go down to the lair of the octopus, which they know and which they will not reveal specifically. I'm happy to hear. And that is it, you take copper sulfate? Yes, yes. And they squirt copper sulfate at them, which irritates the daylights out of an octopus, would, I'm sure, any one of you, too. And then the octopus gets out, and preferably you get them in sand where they can't use the suction cups. Then they wrestle them up to the surface. And Do they, they squirt back at you? Yes. Yeah. Ink. Ink? How big yeah. is the big octopus? Oh. Oh, they go real big. 150 pounds, yeah. 22 I, feet. I across. always think of the near sighted octopus that fell in love with a Scotch bagpipe. The Messrs. McGuire's have heard that one. Yeah. They came from Pasco, you know? Well, it's a wonderfully interesting occupation. Thank you both for coming down yeah, to see you. us. It's nice to see you. another contestant for you in just a moment after this word. And now to meet our second challenger, will you sign in after you've entered? Please. <laughs> Sandy Driggin. Right, ma'am? Miss or Mrs. Triggin? It's Miss. Miss Triggin. And where are you from? Forest Hills, New York. Forest Hills, New York. And you won't mind if I announce that you're going to enter your senior year at the University of Michigan no, in I'd love September. It so we're talking about really a summer occupation. May I now, Miss Triggin, present the panel? And if you come over here, please, we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. Well, we can tell you that Miss Driggin is salaried and deals in a product, and we'll begin things with, uh, that it, sir. Well, now that we find out, Miss Driggin, that an octopus has a shell... Don't fight City I, Hall, Bennett. Just go get the book. Which I still doubt very much. Miss Driggin, uh, the product that you will deal in is one, I take it, that could be used by human beings? Yes, sir. Uh, human beings of both sexes? Yes. Sir. Might it also be used by children? Yes. Is it a product that is consumable? Yes, it is. Is it taken into the mouth? Yes, it is sometimes. It is? Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I would just say yes, it is, period. <laughs> uh, is it a solid rather than a liquid? Hopefully. It is a solid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it uh, sometimes eaten cold and wa or warm? Can it be eaten both cold and warm? Um, I think so. He can? Mm -hmm. No, 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 wait a minute, a minute. We gotta have a small turn. Miss Driggin wants to be fair, Bennett. Yes, John. <laughs> and as the old shell game has it, you just gotta know. That's I bet one it's down something in that melts and it's cold. Well, now, York, melts when you'll it's be warm, back. Melts nope. when it's warm, When it's cold, when it's warm. Is yes, it, Sue? Is it, um... Is it sweet? Yes, it is. Is it in the confection or dessert area? Yes. It could be so considered yes. so. Mm -hmm. Is it um, is it sold at circuses and um, you know kind of amusement parks and? Uh... Yes, I think so. It could be. It uh, could be. Mm -hmm. 
um, we got kind of a rise out of you at the word children. So, I mean, is it kind of oriented toward the younger set? No, I don't think so. I think it can be... Even I could have had some yeah. just before the show started. Yeah, yes. I would have to give you a note that, because while children would like it very much, it's not oriented specifically toward it's children. Not Adults not get that. it... Yes, you did. Oh, Sorry. Yes. <laughs> That's too down. They think it's good. Is it served cold, basically? I think so. You think so? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh... Is it uh, chilled? I mean, is that kind of cold? Like ice cream is cold? Yes. Uh-huh. Well, is it a form of, of, of ice cream in some way? Or ice? Yes, Yes? Sir. You're nodding, John. I'm about to leap over the... <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it uh, on a stick? Yes. Cotton candy? Is that what you're going to add? Mm. No. <laughs> you're a popsicle thrower or something like that. Popsicle thrower? No. That's three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. <laughs> Are you a good humor girl? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I have to ask you, are you the only good humor man who is a girl? No, there are a few of us, right. but very limited. Do no. you have your own wagon? Yes, I yeah. do. Sandy <laughs> drives a white good humor truck. Where do you hang out, Sammy? Lynch and uh, don't tell him. Don't. Yeah. Well, uh, my heavenly days, he's not in the office very much now. We can't have him hanging around Rigo Park all the time. But uh, has her own own area, and you wear a blue jacket and... Uh, and slacks uh, and a cap. And a blue cap. And I ring the bells. Any yeah. samples? Not with me right now at Mel. <laughs> <laughs> As we found out. And is entering... Uh, your, what, what is your course at Michigan? I'm a pre-med student, and I'm majoring in economics. I hope to go to medical school after I graduate, which is next April. Oh, wonderful. Congratulations to you and good humor for having such a charming day. <laughs> we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, this message. And now the special feature of our program, the appearance of the mystery challenger, for which the panel is always blindfolded. Blindfolds in place, panel. Hold your breath. Yes. Good. Will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? panel in this case we go to a different form of questioning one question at a time in turn moving clockwise and we'll begin things with uh mark goodson thank you incidentally john you know i've been trying desperately to peek through this mask to see if it's possible it is impossible it's very black in here uh is the mystery guest um uh, female feminine nope. one down and nine to go miss francis are you in the motion picture world? No. Nope. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. Is there more than one mystery guest? Yep. <laughs> Two? I, I thought so. Either that or it had the longest name in show business. Um, now, is this what might be classified as a group, then? Yep. <laughs> Mark? Uh, are there more than two of you? Yep. Arlene? Are you a musical group? <laughs> you lose two points. <laughs> Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Would you by any chance be a, a baseball aggregation? <laughs> <laughs> That's five down and five to go, Sue. Have, have we established the show business nature of the work that these people do? I don't believe right. so. We, well, can we now establish that? Do you? Are you? Have you? What? In, Are, what? in show business. Yep. Oh. Mark? Uh, I'd like to know how many there are in this group. Um, they're, they're all men. That's, that's been, that's been, uh, uh, hasn't it? Yes. Uh, may I assume that you're all men? That's, that, because I asked if there were, are yep. you, you're, you're all men, right? Yep. yep. Okay. Are you, are you actors? Would you describe yourself as actors as opposed to singers? Yep. Arlene? Yep. <coughs> 
Uh, they are actors. That's what we've found mm -hmm. out. But they're not in the motion picture world. Are uh, you television performers? Yep, yep. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> The echo in this place. Uh, have you now or ever had anything to do with this panel in the past? Yep. Nope. 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 <laughs> What was that answer? That was a yes, nope, nope. <laughs> that should be crystal clear, Bennett. A yes, nope, nope. Uh, Sue? Do you then comprise the cast of a specific television show? Nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Eight down and two to go, Mr. Goodson. Do you comprise the cast of something? Yep, yep, nope. <laughs> nope. Look, there was a nope in there, too. Yeah. No, they, I would say the question was, do you comprise the cast of something? something? As a unit, the three of them, or, or nope, four nope, of them. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Oh. Well, well, head down and two to go, Miss Francis. Is it possible that some do and some don't in that outfit? <laughs> Ain't that always true? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sounds like a kettle Nine of water. Nine down and one to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, I don't know what are, you are, are you all employees or associates of Goodson Todman? Yep. yep. <laughs> It's Frank Heller. It's Frank Heller, you know. All the people backstage in this show. No, <laughs> let's come down and no more to go. You may unmask and say hello to Bud Collier of To Tell oh. the Truth, Alan Ludden oh, of Password, Ed McMahon of Snap Judgment, and Gene Rayburn of Match Game. <laughs> Presenting you all to Mr. Goodson. <laughs> I want to thank all of you men for coming here and disgracing us. <laughs> you almost have it. Yeah. No, not anywhere near. Good. Sure. I'm that glad was, to see like you. like a bunch of kennel dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep those checks coming. <laughs> for a while, man. Jeannie and I love to see them every week. <laughs> I mean, we got around the acting thing because when it was asked, you got, yep, nope, nope. Actually, Alan does do summer yeah. stock, as you know, and I think also... I do, too. Yes, yeah. yeah. so Ed has. Too. And Ed's yeah. done it, but I don't, you haven't done summer stock yet. No. So Dirty should have been one up. This picture isn't really complete yet, with everybody's kind permission. Johnny Olsen, you come over here. Yeah! yeah. yeah. explain, of course, you've all seen Johnny with us before, but Johnny also is associated with three of the four programs represented here. Right. Which one do you know? I couldn't Only make Allen's because they were password. conflicting but with that schedule. But on the Tell the Truth, <laughs> on Snap Judgment, <laughs> and on Match Game, Johnny, Johnny's part of that, too. He's Johnny will warm up three people on a corner. He just sees three people. <laughs> Hello, I'm Johnny Olsen. Let's hear it. We're, <laughs> yeah, we're going to run him for something <laughs> sooner or later. <laughs> We rather thought that that would give you some trouble, and I'm very glad that it did. But in spite of that, I must say you did well. You performed well. We can give you some congratulations, and we'll all be back after this word. Well, Miss Sue, again, it was nice to have you with us. Mark, hope you enjoyed uh, Thank you, John. It was fun. Being at work for a change. <laughs> Arlene Bennett, how's that? And good night, Miss Sue. Good night. Good night, Mark. Thank you, dear. Good night. Good night, Arlene. I hope you'll be on with us for another 10 or 12 shows. Yeah, Mark. thank you. <laughs> good night, Bennett. Henry Morgan joins me in saying good night, John. <laughs> One, wish... two, three, four, five, six, seven, no. eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I just wish he'd gone to Tilton School. He'd have been a much better man if he had. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. And thanks to all of you for being with us on What's My Line. <laughs> What's My Line? a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Topper. Ms. Francis Gowns from Bonwit Color, Miss Oakland from Oscar de la Renta. This is Johnny Olsen speaking for What's My Line.